I am so nervous. It's another beautiful day. And if this is your first time to my channel, I want to welcome you and say thank you so much for coming. Before I get started, please, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit that bell, so you don't miss any notifications from my other videos in the future. Before I actually get started with my storytime adventures, I want to talk about this Starbucks. Did you know that they are going to be shutting down their stores all through the United States for one day? Why? Why are they doing this? It's because of what happened to two African American fellers. They were there on a business meeting waiting for another person to get there so they can talk business about investing in real estate. One of the guys walked up to one of the employees and asked for a key to the washroom. The employee said no and they have to leave because they didn't buy anything. That's unbelievable. I don't know how many times I've been to Starbucks and didn't order anything. Yes, that's what I do. I just kind of hang out in Starbucks just by myself doing nothing. So the employee called the police and the police showed up and they arrested these two men for doing nothing. First the police asked them to leave and the two guys said no, why? We didn't do anything. We'll put a link down below so you can go to the actual video. Anyway, you know, enough of that rambling on. Uh, just check out the link, um, give me some feedback on what you think about, you know, what's happening. So my story time adventures, this starts in Florida. Now, I don't know if you've been to Florida. Florida is a pretty amazing place. In the summertime, it can be very hot though, extremely hot. Um, I was staying in Cocoa Beach, Florida, and I was with a, my brother, and I was with my friend Brian. We were about 16, 17 years old, and there was these huge trees that grow about 25 feet high, and these vines that would grow over top of these trees and and these trees were clustered together and these vines would basically encase these trees and we used to climb up these trees it was amazing grab a whole bunch climb to the top and you could walk along the top and we would sit up there sometimes we'd eat it was a good bonding experience and we could see for kilometers in every direction now you have to be very careful because sometimes there would be little gaps throughout the vines and if you fall through, you'd plummet 25 feet. If the fall didn't kill you, the ground did. <laughs> there were these huge spiders called banana spiders. Yellow and black, I've talked about them in my last videos and they grow these giant webs and you can look through these vines and you can see all the webbing. And I have arachnophobia, which is um, a, a fear of spiders. I al also have um, acrophobia, which is afraid of heights. And this one time I actually did fall through and I grabbed hold and my legs were dangling below. And I'm like trying to get up and I wasn't strong enough to pull myself up and I was slowly falling through. And I could look down and I could see, it's like a sheet of white with all these, these, these spiders. This is one big female and a whole bunch of males. That's usually how it is. That's in pretty much all the spider world. Usually the females are much uh, bigger and stronger than the, the males. You know, just like humans. Duh. My brother races over, grabs my back and pulls me up. And so I thought, well, it's time to go down. So as we're going down, it starts raining. Now the rain in Florida is so strong. It's very warm, but it, is, it rains so heavily that it actually bounces off the concrete about this high and it will actually hit you back in the face. It just, it, it's, it's, it's amazing to see. You'd be walking down the street and suddenly you'd hear It's really embarrassing, isn't it? There's people walking by right now and they must think I'm completely nuts. Probably, they're like pulled up chairs with popcorn and stuff, you know, clicking the remote control to try and change channels. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's all me, every channel. I see a guy walking over there. He's like wondering what the fuck I'm doing. I start climbing back down uh, these, these vines and 
as I grabbed hold of these vines, I grabbed a, a large green vine snake. At the time, I didn't know if it was venomous or non-venomous, and it bit me in the finger, and I was like, ah! And I plummeted down. I fell about 15 feet, and my legs got entangled in the vines, and I fell forward, a vine wrapped around my neck, and now I'm freaking out. I got this freaking green vine snake. I'm wailing my hands around the snakes, not letting go. I'm freaking out. I'm trying to come down. I fell through all these webbing, these spiders are crawling all over me. I'm literally freaking out. Finally, I, I break free of my, my, my legs and the, the vine around my neck is breaking off as I'm coming down. I hit the ground and I rolled and I stood up and finally brushed myself off, looked at my friends and they all started laughing. And I'm like, what, what? Oh my God, do I got spiders on me? Oh geez, I'm gonna die. Oh. I had the biggest hickey from here all the way down to here from the vine around my neck, squeezing on my skin. It was the funniest thing to see. And hey, it didn't bother me. I just walked around and told everyone I was dating a girl with big lips. I'm gonna get a lot of slack for that comment. I don't care. This is part of the story. This is what happened. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, well, kick me while I'm down. So the, how I got rid of this hickey, in Florida there's these aloe vera plants and they grow huge, about 10 feet high and like 20 feet wide. Like just, and we go up, we break off a piece and we just squish it all over my skin. And it has an, you know, it has some kind of ingredients in the, the plant that you know, it helps heal much faster and it's good for the skin. And within a couple days, yeah, it was pretty much all gone. So that is my story. I'm so glad you, you were here to, to listen to it and, and for me to get it off my chest. Um, if you like my, my story, you wanna hear more, please don't forget, subscribe, hit that bell, because that bell will give you notifications of when I upload a video. I have a, a new pet adventure coming up very soon. It's going to be a barnyard animal. That's all I'm going to say. You're going to have to wait uh, to, to see what this is going to be, but it's going to be so much fun. Uh, I'm very excited. Um, and again, thank you so much. Um, share my videos, like my videos, and remember, always support your animal rescues.